Okay, I guess we're back, baby. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. I am thrilled to be here today to announce the Christmas Toymation Fest 2022. And the theme for this thing? Absolutely outrageous. Like, I've been trying to keep a lid on it for a long time. We're finally here to discuss the Christmas Toymation Fest 2022. And today we'll go over the theme, basic rules, how to enter, and the timeline. The prizes themselves will be announced in December as Mega is just compiling the final list. And they look great so far, but I wanted to get the ball rolling so you have enough information to start animating. Because a lot of people are excited about this and a lot of people want to know what are they animating? So let's find out. I'm also in the middle of a winter wonderland. I thought, you know, it's a Christmas Toymation Fest. I gotta film it in the uh, winter. But uh, let's hope I can finish this vlog before my camera freezes over. Let's give it a go. So the Christmas Toymation Fest is returning for its fifth year. And five, that, that makes me feel old, man. The first ever Christmas Toymation Fest was in 2013. And it was inspired by an original animation competition by Mega themselves, the Toymation Fest, in 2012. So in 2012, that invigorated my channel. It really inspired me artistically. You know, I entered in two different categories for that official competition in 2012 and the grand adventure is still my most viewed video and that was my entry for the comedy category and i worked so hard on that when i go back and look at footage from 2012 looking at how much time i put into that it's really inspiring and that's why i still do this competition to this day because it is a great way to inspire new creators to inspire new animators in 2013 we had 26 entries the following year 2014 we had 46 six entries and then Silence. Silence. As quiet as this winter forest, we disappeared into the night and the Christmas Toymation Fest looked dead forever, but we returned in 2020. And that was one of the highlights of 2020 for me, bringing that back, reinvigorating that animating community. And we received a lot of entries. 122 animators took to their cameras and produced some exceptional animations. Like they, they were awesome. I could not believe there were that many. And I sat on a live stream, watched through all of them with my judges it was a riot. The next year, I knew I had to step it up. 2021, we got 176 entries. 2022, who knows, baby? Let's find out together. So for this competition, you can start animating right now. Submissions will open on December 1st, and on December 1st, I will tell you exactly how you can submit. Hopefully on December 1st, we'll also have a list of prizes as well. From December 1st, you can submit all the way to January 14th. That means from today until January 14th, that's almost two months that you can be animating. I wanted to give as much time as possible and make sure people weren't crunching all the way up until Christmas. It's a busy time of year. The animation contest will close on January 14th and the winners will be announced January 21st. And I bet you're wondering, what could the theme for this animation possibly be? Well, let me tell you, this is so exciting. I've been putting this together with Mega for a while and uh, I, I, I almost can't believe it's happening just because of the history and the lore behind this. Like it's, it's such an iconic piece of our community and I'm so happy to be able to cooperate with Mega to produce this. Ladies and gentlemen, the Christmas Toymation Fest is proud to present the Assault on Squad 45, Part 5. In collaboration with Mega, this will be 
part five, the fifth installment of the Assault on Squad 45. Though we're technically not tied to Microsoft, it's non-canonical, but this will be endorsed and celebrated with Mega, and this will be like the fans' interpretation of how that story will continue. The Assault on Squad 45 is so iconic in this community. It's how a lot of us grew to love Mega, and when you look back at it, it's so nostalgic. And I love embracing the nostalgia, the raw history of these 12, 13 years with this brand, and I don't know of any better way to do it than continuing the legacy of the Assault on Squad 45. The original animation had four parts, and at the end of part four, the firebase has been destroyed and the Master Chief has woken up from cryo sleep. And then what? You can decide. I want to make sure that this animation competition is open to anyone. Anyone can enter. That's why the theme for this competition is the Master Chief versus the enemy. That's the official theme, the Master Chief versus the enemy. That means the Master Chief can fight the Covenant, the Banished, the Forerunners. You're deciding what does he do after he woke up from that cryo sleep. And don't worry, you don't need to replicate the firebase, you don't need to have a cryopod, you just need one figure, and one figure only, the Master Chief. And everyone has a chief, right? And the interpretation is all up to you. You can do a more direct sequel where it literally picks up after he's woken up from cryo sleep, or you can do a flash forward to five years later, to five months later, to five days later, whatever you want. You can have the Master Chief continuing to pursue the Arbiter. You can have the Master Chief taking on a new foe. Whatever you do, it's going to be the Master Chief versus the enemy and a continuation of the Assault on Squad 45. And no, you don't need a Halo 4 Master Chief, I know that's the one at the end of the Assault on Squad 45, you can use any Master Chief you would like. It's just such a great idea to be part of this legacy. At the end of this, when we crown a winner amongst so many other prizes, when we crown that winner, they will be the fan continuation of that story. And it'll just be celebrated by the fans as this continuation of such a legacy. Like, I am so excited about this competition. I, I put a lot of energy and effort into my videos. I like to be excited about all my projects, but this one, I, I, I feel like this is, it, like it's all been going in this direction. It's all come to this. Like the Assault on Squad 45 is beloved, especially by myself. Like I, I grew up with it. It was what inspired me to do all my original animations. Like it is so great to be helping continue that legacy today. Whoa. Wind's picking up. You can find all the rules to this competition in the description down below, but I'm gonna run down a few of them right now so you know how to get started. Wow, where did that wind come from? Goodness me. Your animation must be between 30 seconds and five minutes long. You have to keep it clean. You can use clay as blood, but no intense gore and definitely no cursing. You can have voice lines. You don't need them, but they're encouraged. And you can use official Master Chief voice lines from the games. I've included links to the cutscenes from each of the Halo games without music, so you can cut them and actually use the Master Chief's audio if you'd like. My number one strict rule for this competition going forward is the only music you're allowed to use is Halo Infinite. Last year, unfortunately, one of the animations got a copyright strike and then I had to monetize or ads had to be shown on the announcement video for the winners, which I didn't want to do. So absolutely no music other than Halo Infinite. But good news for you, Halo Infinite soundtrack is dope. I've included a link to a special channel called Ungoy Master. He actually ripped a lot of the music from the in-game cutscenes and the in-game moments. And there's hours and hours of music you can use there. You can also use the official Halo Infinite soundtrack, but I will only be accepting animations that use Halo Infinite music. No other music whatsoever. You can use sound effects, you can have no music at all, but if you use music, it's Halo Infinite. It must be a video made for this competition, not an old video, and anyone from previous animation competitions, including winners, are allowed to enter. The theme is Master Chief versus the enemy. You can have him fighting any enemy you want, but it is a continuation of the Assault on Squad 45 series. So go check them out, get some inspiration, storyboard some ideas. Ideas. We also wanted to do something fun with this competition where we montage together certain clips from a lot of the animations. So for bonus points, and this won't really count as to whether you win or not, but just for fun, if you can include one or both of the following, it would be dope. The Master Chief taking down an elite in a creative way. The Master Chief rescuing Marines. If you can include those, it would just be dope. We can then take all of these clips of the Master Chief taking down elites from all the different animations, put them all together into a cool montage. That's all we wanna do. So if you want to include the Master Chief taking down an elite in a creative way, or the Master Chief rescuing Marines, 
submarines. That'd be cool, we can montage those together, but it's not essential. And submissions open December 1st for the Christmas Toymation Fest 2022. Oh yes, I'm so excited about this. There is gonna be first, second, and third place. There's gonna be a panel of judges, including names like Demarcation Media, Toa of Ultimate Doom, Strandy42, Halo Collectors Kevin Hurd, Zandril MCX. We've got a really cool team, including some other people I'm gonna announce later on. We're also going to have a random prize that is sent to a random person from the animation list, so everyone has a chance of winning. Kevin and Yan at Mega themselves will be selecting some extra prizes with some extra criteria, like best story. And more details will come on December 1st, along with the prize list, hopefully, as long as we got it ready by then, and how to submit. And apart from that, Get animating, guys. Create an animation between 20 seconds and five minutes long. Keep it clean, only Halo Infinite music. And the theme is the Master Chief versus the enemy. And the winner will be a fan contribution to the continuation of the Assault on Squad 45. Huge shout out and thanks to Mega, particularly Yan for helping us with this competition, for providing the prizes and just for uh, allowing us to continue the legacy of the Assault on Squad 45. I'm Simon from The Domain and my hands are freezing off. I thought it would be more like animated to take my gloves off and it was not a big mistake because I'm sure it looked better than those uh, those pink gloves but ah I'm cold I'm cold it's a cold Minnesota day so apart from that I think I checked everything off my list yeah the Master Chief versus the enemy the Assault on Squad 45 and bonus points if you have the Master Chief taking down an elite in a creative way and the Master Chief rescuing some Marine. This is such an exciting way to bring the community together at Christmas time. I just, I, I love you all. Like, you, this, this community is my heart and my home. I'm heading back to England permanently at the end of December and I got so many exciting plans for YouTube then. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And the domain is signing off. See you on December 1st when submissions open. Get animating and watch one of you will continue the legacy of the Assault on Squad 45 with part five. Signing off, folks.